Hello everyone. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Hope you guys are doing well. I am also doing well. Today we'll explore about AWS EC2 user data, like of what purpose we can use the user data and how it will benefit to us and what are the different approach for using the AWS EC2 user data. Okay, guys. Yeah. For that, I will create one EC2 instance and uh, during the KSN type of EC2 instance, I will pass the user data and then I will show you like uh, if you would like to modify that particular user data, then how we can modify the user data. And then I will show you that uh, once it is uh, completed, right? Then I will show you that uh, whatever user data we have put in that user data section, right? That is properly executing the bots. Okay, guys. So let's go to the demo part. Let's move on to the AWS console. For that, I will create one EC2 instance. Okay. So user data basically there are different approach like uh, user data with cell script, user data with console, user data cloud directory, user data AWS CLI, and combined cell script and cloud unit directories. Right. So these are the approach. There are different type of approach we can do uh, during our launching EC2 instance. We can pass this all the uh, all different approach. We can pass the user data. Okay. But today demo I will show you like uh, user data with cell script. This one and uh, uh, after that, uh, you guys can try that other approach also. And if you face any issue, please let me know so that I will uh, guide you that also. Okay, so let me launch one instance here. So I'm taking 2023, right? So one more thing, if you are guys taking the latest image, right? so for that, if you guys want to do that uh, user data with uh, that, what I can say that uh, this second approach, right? That uh, cloud in directory, right? Then this, these are the some step we have to follow. Some little bit of modification here is there. So I will give this link also to this video description, both the links, so that you guys can take a look. Okay. So let me create one EC2 instance. Select the. If you not yet watch my previous video, how to launch EC2 instance security group, please have a look. I will give those links to this video description so that you can take a look. Okay. So let's go to the advanced section. Leave as it is all this thing. We'll go to directly user data. Okay. And this is the place we have will modify that user data. So I have written some script here. So let's copy this. So, as we said, like uh, this, uh, the first one user data with cell script, right? So, as we know, the has this tag itself would indicate that cell script, right? So, so let me don't select this one since it is not a base code encoded. Okay, so leave as it is. Okay, now launch is to instance. So, once we launch the ACP instance, right? Now, whatever uh, in the user data section, whatever command we have given, right? Those will get executed. What benefit of that? Like uh, whenever you are launching, like uh, auto scaling, or uh, if you not yet my watch previous video, like about the auto scaling, right? That time it will be very helpful about this user data basically. So what could be the benefit? Suppose uh, auto scaling basically we suppose used our uh, own AMI, right? If you guys not yet watch my AMI video also, please have a look. I will give that link to this video description also. The AMI like uh, Amazon machine image, right? What basically that like uh, whatever uh, pre-required software or pre-required apps you would like to install in your application, right? In your instance, right? If you want to do, then we can pass those things to by using user data, right? Or if you would like to do some set of command, right? You want to execute during the EC2 instance uh, initialization, right? Then we can pass those set, set up command to that user data section so that it will get executed. Okay. Like uh, suppose you want to do some S3 bucket uh, copy, suppose uh, this kind of command. You want to create some directory to that particular EC2 instance, and then you want to copy some uh, what I can say object to that uh, uh, from S3 to this particular location, right? If you want to do so, this kind of thing also it will be possible. I will show you that too also. Okay. 
So let's go to here. So, open with my jet at all. Still loading. See that whatever user data we have given, right? Welcome to the EC2 user data app server from Cloud Tech. And please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any video from this channel size. Thank you. So this is the message we have put it in that user data section, right? It's kind of static web apps, right? If you want to create by EC2 instance static web application, right? So this is one another approach like uh, to create a static web application by using EC2 instance, right? Or if you want to uh, deploy your application uh, to the EC2 instance, right? so this is also one kind of approach, static app application you can deploy by using user data section also, okay? Or maybe once you, uh, this is basically running by it. Let me show you that code, what basically we are doing. So we are first updating, then we are installing HTTP. Basically, this is the Apache web server, right? So this server basically it is running our static application, web application, right? So what I am doing here, in this HTTP server, I am just uh, creating one HTML page, index.html, then I am start an event, right? So once it is done, right? So then this same uh, HTML page, we are able to see here, okay? Now guys, if you want to modify this user data, right? So suppose if you want to modify, right? If you go to instance and instance settings, here is the option edit user data, right? Since the instance is running, right? If it is instance is running, you can't modify that user data. For that, you have to first stop the EC2 instance, then only you can able to modify. Let me show you that also. See here that uh, it will give this message. The edit instance user data cannot be possible since the instance is in a running state, right? So let me go here. Now I would I would add some more comment. What comment I am going to add? These two comment I am going to add. Okay. So for that, what I will go, uh, I need to give this is S3, right? So to that instance, I first I need to give the S3 access. Then only I can able to run, right? So let me first stop this instance. Okay. So, it's open. Yeah, it's open. Yeah, it's open. Yeah, stop. Let's first stop. <laughs> Till it is stopping state. Till it is completely stop, right? We can't modify the user data. It's taking time due to some reason.
to start with. So let me modify this instance settings, edit user data, and there you can add our. If you want to modify anything, you can add or so what we can do. Let's me add this one. But this will not work since uh, our EC2 instance don't have that uh, S3 access right permission. So I will give that permission also. So let me add this. Let me start this. Let me start this. Starting this. So, like this, we can update our whatever requirement you want to update, right? You can update also. And if you, uh, I now I updated that I am role also, right? If you not yet watched my previous video regarding that I am role, so guys, please have a look at. I will give those links to this video description. Okay. So, this is the start. Stand pending state. Okay. State. It is an initializing state, right? Status is initialized. See, now it is again pending, but we added some of the command, right? So let me see this command able to do. By mobile stream, how we can connect the EC2 instance, right? So I have already demonstrated in my previous session. So if you not yet watch, please have a look. I will give that link also to this video description. Okay. Okay. One more thing, guys, like uh, if you want to like. Uh, suppose you are running this user data, right? But uh, if something happened, right? How we can troubleshoot that, right? So we can check the logs also. So logs location basically go to the sudo user. CD logs. This is the place we can get all the logs details, like the whatever uh, user installation we are doing, right? So that log details will come here, like which of command we ran, right? So those command details will come here, actually. So if you see, right, we try to install our uh, HTTP, all these things, right? So that all command, whatever command we have ran, right? So if anything wrong to that particular command, we can troubleshoot here, we can check that what it is going wrong, then accordingly we can. Uh, Check that too also. Okay. Some permission is soon that. Maybe one more thing. Maybe my IM role, the permission also not there. Let me go to that my IM role. Let me check that IM role, what the permission is there. Okay. Is it to permission is there or not that I need to check? Okay, here only S3 access is there, right? So let me attach that EC2 full access. This 
God's permission also to that. Now what I will do? I will stop this one and I will do sudo also. So now I updated that value, uh, that I am policy of it. So like this, we can modify guys. So if you want to modify any user data or anything, right? So like this, we can modify. So if Hope this session will helpful to you guys and uh, there are other approach also like I said, right? Uh, this uh, cloud in a directive, so here also set up command is there. We can run this command and there are other two also. So you guys can try it and if you face any issue, please put your comment to this comment section. I will address that to you also. I will not try all these things, okay? Since IP is getting changed, right? So that's why I'm changing that IP so that we can connect from mobile still. User data is successfully installed on that. That we can put right here. It's installed properly. Okay. So you can run. Guys, maybe due to some XYZ reason, it is not good. Okay, guys, so thanks for joining this today's session. I, uh, this uh, whatever thing we have done, so hope this will helpful to you guys. And if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share with your friend. Okay, and uh, and uh, that uh, if uh, anything have you doubt, so please put those thing in the video comment section. I will address those. And, that uh, this pending part, right? Why this uh, copy is not done, right? I will put that uh, finding to this uh, comment section, guys. Okay. So to support my channel, please subscribe and share with your friend. Thanks. See you guys in my next video. Channel bye.